Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at making some changes to the audio of your recording. So we're going to look at the mixer today. So the mixer allows us to control the levels of the parts which are playing. It's got a lot more to it than that but this is just the basics so this is probably the first thing you're going to realize. So if we look at the project from previously we can see we've got these four tracks we've got drums then bass comes in then the strings come in and then the melody comes in now the levels of these how loud they are are not in balance at the moment so there's a couple of places we can alter those the first is if you click on a track the inspector this area here called the inspector has a volume control so we can control the volume using this. Uh, I think the strings are too loud, so I'm going to click on the strings track and I can turn them down here. And the melody's too loud, so I'm going to click, turn that down and then see what. That's already a bit better. Bass is a bit quiet. But that's a bit awkward because you don't get a general picture of what's going on. And if you want to alter anything, you've got to click on the track, etc. So the mixer is definitely the place to do this. And the mixer is summoned with F3. And here we can see the mixer. So we've only got a few channels here. So the first thing is this stereo. And I'm going to turn this off purely because otherwise it's going to be a bit annoying. So you can actually filter channels up here, but you don't need to worry about that. It's just so you don't see my speech annoying you. You can zoom in and out using G and H just like you can in the project window and the editors. I'm just going to do that so they look a bit bigger and you can see them a bit better. And then also I'm going to make this section a bit taller so you can see it a bit better on screen. But here, those volumes that I changed in the inspector are reflected on these faders because it's the same way of altering or different way of altering the same control. So we can control drums. And then the bass will... I'm probably going to just turn the drums down a bit because one of the key things is not turning everything up because you haven't got that much room to go. So get used to turning things down. So with that, we can change those levels. Now, the other thing you need to be aware of as we move towards being able to do a mix down, which is what we're going to look at in the next video, is this level here, okay? If the light is red here and this is a positive number, then it's too loud, okay? So we're going to reset that and play the loudest parts of the piece. And you can see already we're too loud, okay? It's easy to do this. The more tracks you get, the louder you get. So... Basically, we either need to turn all of these down or we can turn this one down. And the way I would encourage you generally to use it is just turn the master down. So we see we're 1.4 dB over. So we need to turn this down to about minus 1.5 ish because what we're hoping for is this to be just under zero. Okay. For reasons I'm not going to go into, digital audio level in this context is measured up to a maximum of zero. So there you can see it's much better. So we've got that little peak there, which is just as loud as we want to go. We wouldn't want to go any louder, but that's okay. So you can set your relative levels with these channel faders here and then set the overall level if you need to using this fader. Although if you end up with it down at minus 30, something's probably gone wrong because everything's too loud in your mix. But that's a little too complicated for us to deal with. Now, the last thing I want to look at in this video is the channel settings window. Now, again, we're only going to look at a little part of this and uh, probably going to do it on the strings. So each channel, I'm going to come out of the mixer for a second. Each channel has two buttons on it, which we've not looked at yet, mute and solo. So mute turns the channel off. So if we go back to the beginning again, if I hit the M, the drums are now muted, so none of that will play. So like the mute tool we had before, but it runs for the whole track. Solo, the S, means only the tracks that are soloed play. So if you want to listen to something quickly on its own, you can just do that. 
So we're gonna actually do that with the strings. And I'm just gonna set the locators again with P and put it into cycle mode. And then I'm gonna open the channel settings window. Now you can do it from two places. You can hit the E that's here, or three places actually. There's one here, there's one there, and also in the mixer, there's an E. They all do the same thing, they all open the same window. So this is the channel settings window. And what we're gonna look at very briefly is the EQ. So equalizer, so you need to click on the equalizer section. And then here we can see all the frequencies that make up the sound we're hearing. So the strings are starting from about here, but they've got this kind of low level noise in them. And then they go all the way up to pretty much the limit of most people's hearing, give or take. Okay, so there's lots in there. Now, this is a complicated window. I, I totally get that. But I want you to just play around with it, just get a bit of learning. So we've got four basic EQs which change the sound. So here we've got high one. So if we turn that on with this power button here, so often you'll see in Cubase there's power buttons for things. So that's turned that on and now these controls are active and this is a representation of it but also allows you to grab it and move it around. So I'd suggest you grab this and move it around. If we put it up, you can hear that's adding loads of high frequencies into this. It sounds really, really thin and tinny. If we bring it down, it subtracts. So then it sounds really dull. Okay. And if we bring it down, you can hear it's doing... But much, much lower frequencies and there it's just making it louder really so you can play around with that one I'm going to turn that off this one acts differently it just acts on a range of frequencies so that's probably a familiar sound to you if you've listened to any kind of uh, experimental uh, music particularly it's kind of like things you hear DJs doing as well with a kind of swept EQ control and if you cut it it's a different effect when it's cutting okay i'm not expecting any kind of amazing you know musical transformations i just think it's important that you you realize that all of the sounds we hear are made up of different frequencies it's just a artifact of the way our hearing system works so there's actually loads of different frequencies present in each sound unless it's a sine wave so you can play around with those and the low one is like the mirror of the high one. So this is a low shelf. You can hear there it's boosting the low frequencies or we can cut the low frequencies and make it sound super high endy. Now, obviously that's similar to doing something with this and then turning it down, but that's a discussion for a different video, but just have a play, okay? One thing with this, so be careful with your listening level because it's really easy to make this sound insanely loud and then you know, if you've got really loud speakers and then you add another 24 dB to it, that can be bad for your hearing. So just, just be a bit careful. You should always be listening at kind of normal conversation level, not really loud, because your ears get tired really quickly and then they make crazy, or well, you make crazy decisions based on the fact your ears are tired. Okay, so just have a play with that. We're going to look at these other sections at another point, but at the moment, I just want you to get building an arrangement, being able to mix it, and then in the next video, we're going to look at how you would mix it down. I'm going to take that off solo. Close that. But I hope that's been useful, having a look at the mixer. And I'll see you in the next video.